哈喽，我叫莹莹，然后我是康乃先生的同事，然后我在人奈工作，那我主要就是负责广告跟活动的部分。我是广州人，然后呃，因为认识我先生，然后我结婚，然后过来这边，然后现在我的 baby 五个月了，他已经开始在我肚子里面会动了。OK， 然后今天康乃先生是要问我说，呃，中国人。对于筷子的使用跟一些在呃拿的方式上高低之类的那个意义，那我本来拿筷子就不是很标准，对我的拿筷子方式就讲。然后我听我妈妈说，就是如果拿得近，就是架得比较近；拿得远，就是架得比较远。那也许是我以前拿得比较远，所以有架得比较远。除非有一些，呃，爸妈是比较传统的家庭，然后他会，呃，我觉得是放筷子的方式。像我妈妈就是觉得筷子你就是要这样放，不能够这样放。可是我先生他们家筷子是要这样放，不能这样放。那我觉得这是，就是每个人认知会有不一样。那我妈妈就说这样放，因为你这边是脏的，那你这样放是很容易弄到衣服。所以他不允许。可是有些人觉得说，你的筷子是你会吃到，那如果你这样放也不好。所以我觉得也是看个人。嗯，我个人认为说，筷子其实它只是辅助我们把把食物放进我们的嘴巴里面享用。那它只是说不用你直接用手。那对我来说，只要我可以把食物夹进去，我没有任何掉下或者怎样，不就好了吗？啊、uh, ，Hi， I'm Nick from、uh, UK. Um, spent a fair amount of time in Asia with the land of the、uh, chopsticks. How, however long you stay here, you'll still get the uh, wow, wow, sorry, and how are you on quite so long? And that will like be forever into eternity. People will be complimenting you on your chopstick usage. It's still fantastic. Like I sometimes look at myself and I do go, yeah, wow, sorry. I can use chopsticks with the elegance of a. Female lady in the Qing Dynasty. So back in the day, they'd be like, "Well, the the more elegant you are, the higher up you'd you'd use your chopsticks." So the working class man might be down here, you know, gobbling away like a savage, while you know the elegant Qing Dynasty lady might be here. I mean, these aren't quite long enough because you give me a cheap pair of wooden. Wooden、uh, chopsticks、uh, to insult my、uh, my level of culture, but yeah, this would be a very elegant way. This would be a very gobbly way. It's the way you scoop up rice as well. If you just take a few granules, then it, you know it'll look elegant. If you if you pick up like you know a pig's foot, zhuzhao, and like you know chunk it in, then it might look less appetizing. My name is Julia Chen, and I'm an English editor in the Eden Line magazine, and I'm from Kilau. Well, three fingers on the top, and then,、uh, two fingers on the bottom. I I I would I would kind of judge、uh, people the way they use the chopsticks. Not in a does it, it it's not a very、uh, deep. It's not really. It's not. It doesn't make a very deep impression、yeah. to me, but、uh, it does give me the thought. Like like most Taiwanese, they aren't that concerned about table manners. But my mom is really concerned. For example, you can't chew with your mouth open, and、uh, you shouldn't hold your bowl up to your face and stuff like that. Like also because she's Hakka. And、uh, Hakka is considered among the older, gen- older generation of the Taiwanese as a more rustic, rustic、uh, ethnicity. So when she married into my dad's family,、um, uh, she was under this、uh, pressure of being judged. I think so.、Um, the appearance of having a good manner. Good etiquette is、uh, quite important. Well, it really depends on the family because、um, my my family are pretty、um, uptight and elite, elitist. 
我是银山，你好，我是台北人。从小我就被父母教说要怎么拿正确的方式，但是自己一直都学不好。我觉得拿远近这个，其实跟那个什么杠杆原理好像有点相通吧。如果就是你拿远一点的，好像比较好夹的感觉；如果拿太近，那个距离太短，好像夹起来不是很顺手吧。我觉得要拿好一双筷筷子不容易，就是可以。从拿筷子的方式知道你这个人对做事情的态度，嗯，因为有些人他会拿得很标准，那他就是做事情起来会比较有效率。最简单的判断方式好像是在筷子的上方，如果是交叉就是错误的，然后如果是筷子是平行的，好像可以用这两只手去，呃，作为一个支撑点的话，就是正确的。我是交叉型的。这也是错的，所以我我自己觉得这只是生活中的小事，这个这只是一个工具，吃饭可以用到，或者只要能够把它夹起来就好了，不一定要用什么样的姿势啊。这个我觉得不会用这个去判断人吧，已经很习惯我现在的方式，然后我这个方式我吃饭我觉得还蛮自然的，我不需要特别为了他们的看法去改变我原来的做法，就是可能长辈会比较在意。就是觉得，如果你筷子使得好的话，那就是比较有教养的孩子。好，啊、呃，我是嘉禾，我是台湾人，我是《人类杂志》的编辑。然后，就是我拿筷子的方式。我那我自己的感觉啊，譬如说，我通常看到筷子拿得特别短的人，就是特别接近筷子下缘的人，我会觉得这样有点奇怪。那可能有一个原因，我自己感觉原因是因为中国中国中呃中式的餐点就是你必须用筷子去夹菜，尤其大家共桌吃饭的时候，这样子的话，而且很多很多中国菜其实有油腻啊，有有汤汁啊或者什么，这样子你老是会觉得离那个菜很近，所以对我自己来讲就会觉得，就是看有一种常常会觉得手都快要碰到碰到菜本身了，所以。所以会觉得比较有点不自在。我觉得我身边的例子最多就是说说哦，拿筷子的习惯不好，就是大家可能会在餐桌上，呃，当然不是每次啊，就是也许就会直接这样说。那被说的那个人，大家通常就是笑一笑，就说对啊，因为小最常最常听到的理由就是小时候爸妈没有纠正。我甚至有些朋友会会、欸、有有有过那种经验，是用奇怪的姿势拿筷子的人，他会。很得意，而且会主动跟大家解说。如果我问起的话，他会告诉你他是东西都已经夹起来，然后他会觉得别人做不到，他他做得到，好像好像反而很厉害。不过我的确有一种感觉，觉得嗯，筷子拿得特别远的人，对，会会会，我觉得那个动作会让人觉得有一种，他吃东西很很很精巧，就是很比较细的感觉。但我说不上来是什么原因。I hold chopsticks. Um, I don't know. Basically, I rest the lower chopstick on my on these three fingers, and the higher up chopstick just follows this held between the thumb and the forefinger. People would compare like the way you held the chopsticks and see. You. Differences, but nobody actually ever came out and said you you were holding it wrong or that's really bad. You need to change.、Mm. I mean, sometimes people give up as well. Even I've seen Taiwanese people even with certain certain items of food, just stab them or skewer them or things like that, which are technically considered very impolite. But I think people are kind of relaxed here in general about eating about the way they eat. I haven't really heard any comments on how chopsticks reflect on one's personality. Um, other than the just general politeness of you know not putting your chopsticks like this, that's supposedly because of superstition. It looks like it looks like the incense you put on temples, I believe, for dead people or something along those lines. So it's yeah, it's bad bad luck. Also, not to put your chopsticks on a bowl pointing towards somebody else at a dinner table. But actually, I, I've noticed that people don't really seem to care about that one very much because it's very impractical when there's a large group of people. Okay, I don't like the plastic ones because it slides off.、Um, these ones can sometimes be splinter dangerous. In fact, I don't mean like metal ones. I like the、uh, I, I, I like、uh, I like the wooden but like varnished wooden ones, or the、uh, 
The pottery, pottery I quite like as well. Oh yeah, these varnished little ones here. These are beautiful. And these are these are elegant as well. These, though, however, you can see the big difference. Like these, these just look elegant. The the thinness of it, the like precision it seems to bring out, and the greater difficulty which you pick up. That just seems elegant. And you're probably supposed to hold them up with both these facing upwards as well.我一般都會拿比較樹樹一點就是木頭的或是石器的那種可愛造型的我比較不會拿因為我覺得筷子是一個還蠻象徵性的東西就是像中國代表象徵性的東西感覺也不是說蟹毒它還是什麼覺得說